Scatter. All right, Artyom, you're in charge. You call the shots. Okay, well, it's high time we started. So try to get on that tugboat. We'll give you cover. Let's go over the plan one more time. Once the tug tugboat is in our hands, Sam, Idiot, and I will go back to the Aurora, while Artyom, Duke, and Kress take the boat <clears> to the bridge. Good luck, everyone. General idea even having us here. They want more losses? But what?
<clears throat> Don't shoot! Don't shoot! I can pay the, the goods! Take them! You can take the goods! Stay calm! It's us! A shame we couldn't do it quietly. So, you guys ready to set off? Too late if you're not. We have no time to waste. Good luck, guys. I hope the winds are fair and the waters are smooth. And Artyom, watch it out there. Oh yeah, we're gonna need that luck, all right. Fair winds. Hurra! Man, your stations. Way anchor. We're gonna go about halfway there, then wait in the reeds until about 4 o'clock. We want to get there early in the morning, when the fog is the thickest and they are sleepy after the morning prayer. Artyomich, Duke, you're on final approach. There. See that fire at the very top? That's the control post. What well, used to be anyway. Now it's a shrine, believe. Closer to God at the top, you see. That's where you have to go. I'll distract the guards now. Sure! Catch the line! Ready! Hey, sailor! What did you do to your barge? What you gonna sell now? <laughs> oh, you're so funny! Jackass, bullet. So, Artyom, shall we move? Whoever gets there first we wins. Break a leg! Fish devour them. Yeah, they only have murder in their minds, those heathens. <laughs> Who is he, huh? What happened, brother?
was hit with four bullets. You won't get away. I can smell heresy. I see it.
me, you damned heretics. You took Katya, and now you have me! Damn, you are quick, Artum. Look, old man, we're just passing through. Let us through peacefully, our guys won't shoot. Or this place is going bye-bye. And Katya, you don't have to worry about her anymore. Understood? To deceive him, Katya. You must pray to the Lord for forgiveness. But for murdering my children, the children of God, you will burn in hell until the end of days! Stop the alarm! Heretics! Judge them! The devilness! Damn, I've been hit! Aurora, full steam ahead! Do you copy? Artem, get away! I'll take it from here! Artem, jump! We left Volga behind. The endless expanses of Russia stretch before us now. Regretfully, Duke was not destined to see them. Was his death a fault of mine? Was everything that happened on the bridge? It could be. It's a cruel world that we live in, and it's not our responsibility to fix it. We only wanted to pass through, and it was not my fault they screamed for blood. Their zealousness reminded me of the Metro, where people are indoctrinated into a lie. That the world is dead and there's nowhere to go. Anyone who questions it gets fed a different lie, that the war is still going on. Artyom. <clears throat> um, wake up, dear. Is he up yet? Artyom, the colonel wants you on the breach. See you later. Come on, wake up. has already set his shop up. Wanna go look? It's so cool. Here, Uncle Artyom. Ah, hi, Artyom. See my new place? Fit for a king, I must say. Ah, what do you think of this workbench, eh? Everything is within reach. Yet, there's so much space left. Most of the stuff you and the guys found outside and gave to me went into making this workshop happen. So thank you. We'll have to keep pitching in like this too. 
Looks like we're facing a long journey, and useful things like ammo or equipment don't grow on trees. Plus, the further from Moscow we get, the harder they'll probably be to get. So don't forget to collect all the materials you find to keep us going. There's so many things to do. I haven't decided where I'm going to work on the suits, but I'll have to, and soon. And it's high time we fixed our uniforms. Some of our people are starting to look pretty ragged, you know? Duke's plate carrier didn't hold the back plate anymore. And he... he just kept joking about it. <clears throat> what was I? Well, I'll be working here from now on. A oh, smoke break. That's good. Oh, this is one mean smoke. Damn, this is rough. Well, <clears throat> nothing we couldn't take. <clears throat> well, you are the right kind of guys. You, the Colonel, Duke, that guy did a swell job on that bridge. He was a great guy. May he rest in peace, yeah. So, uh, yeah, what did I want to say? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you. You you people accepted me, and, and I... Well, that's uh, it. I'm a simple guy. I bragged enough. I, I, I won't waste any more of your time. Okay. The Colonel summoned you. Artyom, come on in and have a seat. Stepan's putting on a live performance here. So, Artyom, are you up for a jam? Come on, Hello, pick guys. the guitar up. To Duke's memory. Hey, Artyom, the colonel's waiting for you on the bridge. Look, stop with this funeral mood. It is Duke we are talking about. Do you recall how he came back from the library? Same thing here. Well, yeah, at that time he pulled a fast one on us. We had the drinks ready. Sam said everything. Was a good speech, too. Listen, I had a talk with the Ark, and all thanks to Tokoran, he got the decoder working. Ark, come in. Come in, Ark. Over. Hey, this is Ark? Hey, uh, identify yourself. Uh, uh, over. This is Colonel Svetoslav Mionnikov speaking. I'm in command of a special operations force. We have received your signal and are currently heading your way. Do you copy it? Over. Yes, yes. I hear you loud and clear. Who am I talking to? How do I address you? The Deputy Chief of Communications Department, Major Ivanov. A, a moment. Oh, yes, Major. I understand that the checkup is in order. Great, Colonel. Um, a medical? I am sorry for the lack of trust, but, as you know, the situation is dire and the enemy is always ready to strike. I do understand, Major, and I hope that you can tell the leadership that my people are true to their duty and will be at their full disposal as soon as we arrive. Over. Thank you for the great news. How large is your force, Colonel? I have a squad of the best operatives the special forces have to offer. A squad? Ah, I see. Well, this is great. Great! Yes, uh, we aren't a large force, but we bring a message of extreme importance. <laughs> we are heading towards you from Sector K-6 Alpha. Do you have any data on enemy forces we might encounter on the way? Over. In just a moment, I have to check. Mm, uh, K-6 uh, Alpha, you say? Uh, as far as I can see, there have been no enemy encounters in reported in the area, Colonel. I regret. I must end our conversation here, but know that we are waiting for your arrival. I am making my report immediately, and I am sure the Minister of Defense will be eager to see you. This is a great honor! Thank you! 
Just a few words more, though. Uh, what is the general situation there, Major? Please. Uh, Colonel, sir, you do understand this is classified information. Uh, but I do understand you. Uh, we are doing fine. Do not worry. Uh, well, see you in the arc. Over and out. I serve the people. Over and out. So, do you get this now, you doubting Thomas? <laughs> I'm so excited, my hands are still shaking! Oh, the minister himself! This is incredible! By the way, Artyom, you should take a look at that. We are approaching the Yamantau bunker, the final destination of our long journey. Direct radio contact with the bunker has completely dissolved Miller's resentment towards me for destroying our previous lives. He is eagerly anticipating the meeting with the Minister of Defense he was promised. Probably such things are important for a career officer. The people, though, are less interested. They are asking important questions. Where are the occupying forces? Why is there just wilderness and people gone wild around? What's stopping the government from restoring the country? What was being done in the last 20 years? Miller believes that we'll get all the answers. He will be pardoned, as well as Anna and I. And we will all return home to the men. Railcar, what's going on ahead? Over. Everything's abandoned, but the track is okay. Over. Roger that. Don't go too fast, and watch out for radiation. Over. Roger that. I still can't believe this. We're there. Do you get this? We're finally there. This has been our goal, not for weeks or months, but for 20 years. My whole life. And it was not spent in vain. Now I know it for a fact. Mama, look. Are we going to live here now? I don't know. Why? I don't like this place. It's creepy. Shh. Don't say that. Over, Colonel. It's getting really hot out here. Everyone, masks on. Passengers, get inside and button up tight. Yes, of course. Come on, Nastya. Change of plans. We're taking the rail car from here. Wait for Artyom and me. How about me? You've been dreaming to get here for so long, and are now leaving me behind? <laughs> Am I your daughter or not? All right, come with us, or else I'll never hear the end of it. <laughs> A wise decision. Yermak, stop the engine. to the safe zone, and sit tight there. We do that right now. Stepan, you're in charge while I'm away. Sir, yes, sir. Great. Let's go. Yeah, it's cold in this place. We're in <coughs> Moscow. Yeah, looks like it. See that crater? Wonder what the yield was on that one. Looks like a hundred to me. But your guys used to have three and five hundred ones too. Well, even a hundred seems to have done okay. Artyom was right. People were coming here from all over the country. Yes, they were. Nobody came from Moscow, though. Until now. So much time wasted. 
We'll make up for that now. Well, we're <clears throat> almost there. Oh, no, 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 this is a bad place. Now, we shouldn't have come here. Really? Okay, so where's my welcoming committee and red carpet? I don't get this. Oh, see? Nobody home. How about we go back? Huh? Поехали. Look! Identify yourself. Colonel Miller, here to report to the Minister of Defense. And where are your people, Colonel? With the train. It's dangerous outside. Contact them and tell them to take the train into the main airlock for decontamination. Welcome to the Ark, Colonel. Proceed through the tunnel and take the elevator. You'll be met inside. See? We're expected. Did you at least prepare a speech? Reporting to the minister is no joke. Ah, get off my case! I pulled an all-nighter! <laughs> Don't you feel like you should say something to Artyom now? Yes. You were right, Artyom. And I was wrong. Thanks for not giving up. Here goes nothing! Comrade Minister! Commander of the Joint Special Operations Forces, Squadron of the City of Moscow, Colonel Miller, reporting. I would like to request that my people are provided with temporary quarters and supplies, as there are women and children among us. Still, our fighters are in top shape and ready for action. Women and children? <laughs> Good. Haven't had those in a while. Who are you? Everything is going as planned. Everyone is fine. <coughs> so far. 
So far, I... I demand a, a meeting with the Minister of Defense, now! Do not worry. Everything will be just fine. And even better. The Minister and the Chief himself are expecting you for dinner. Dinner? What the hell? Are you fucking mocking me? Shut up! The doctor is talking. <coughs> Where is the government answer? All here, Colonel. All here. We are the government you people deserve. Don't you dare, you fuck! You're just... you're just fucking cannibals! Calm down, we'll get jaundice like this. And believe me, nobody likes that bitter taste. The girl will have to wait, though. We must run the tests first. I don't like that cough of Untie hers. my hands, you motherfucker! And I'll shove those tests so far up your ass, you'll be spitting Watch them. your tone, young lady. Do as that young man does. He woke up long ago, but quietly listens to wise people talk. You fucker! Let me... let me go! You Not one will escape! Not a single! So, Colonel, now you will pick up the radio and tell the rest of your people on the train to come here. If you don't want her to suffer for a really long time before she is served. Do you understand? And here I was hoping for an intelligent conversation for a change. Alas. That's not a problem, though. Since this nice young man will surely do it instead. He won't dare be contradictory once we're done with you. Well, nice meeting you and all. Yakov, you may start. I'll get you even after I'm dead. That may well happen, Colonel. I could choke on you or something. In the meantime, I'll excuse you myself. Come here, I'll rip you all apart. Every last one of you should have done that before the war. Now we'll be full again. Good. Artyom! Remains! Here. Colonel, sir, I think that's Thank enough. Thank you, Sam. But it is... We have to get the... But first, we must find Anna. I'm sorry, I went too far with that elevator. To hell with it! Idiot, start the main elevator up! Elevator on the move! Sir, come in! Yes, sir! Well done! We can hold up from that wall! Right between the eyes! I got a treat for you here, you son of a
just like our old D6. Even the lift is the same, exactly. True, and quite fortunate. This way, we can hope to find Anna. Still, the complex is huge, and we have ten minutes at the most. So, we'll have to split up. Sam, you check the filter room, the generator hall, and the storage. Idiot, you come with me to the command center. Artyom, you take the barracks and the sick bay. Let's go! There's me! me. Lots Your of floor, years. Artyom!
But there was meat. Meat, oh. you see? Who? Meat got away! The bastards. They'll keep all the meat for themselves again. We'll get nothing. Meat. Nothing is all.
Artyom, I knew! Behind you! There is always one like you! A hero! You're not saving anyone! Just like the others! So just... Freeze! Yes, yes! The, Let just, him just go! Don't kill me! Now! Uh, remember what I told you! There was an ex... Oh! Enough chatter! <laughs> Are you all right, Artyom? Thank God. Let's report to the Colonel. Dad, it's me. In the sick bay, Artyom found me. Situation, though. I thought we wouldn't see anything worse than that cult on the Volca. And that Silentius with his damn fanatics. <sighs> but no. It appears there was still space for growth. We could have gotten killed there. We almost got eaten here. That bastard. Unbelievable. To think he used to be a doctor. Don't <laughs> matter. We'll see what happens now. We did survive him, after all. Years. 
Could you imagine that? I'm sorry. I got <laughs> carried away like a greenhorn recruit. The minister was going to see me. You can see me now, please. I even saluted those ghouls. Some fucking arc. These monsters have it made me. <coughs> like the watchers in Moscow. Those keep people on the ground with their deceit. These. All right, but what do we do I'll now? I'll be damned if I know, Anna. No idea. Have you found anything, idiot? Their defense sites, HQs. All the information is outdated. All links are long gone. Still, the ones that light up worked for at least a few years after the war. What's down there? It's Caspian One, a comm center. There's one more just like that in Novosibirsk. <laughs> are you going to drag us to some other bunker I now? Don't know. We have to make the decision to get Did you get everything you could, idiot? We're leaving! One moment, I'll finish breaking everything here. Come on, come on! Okay, all done. I don't think you should have put it like that, Anna. It all worked out this time, didn't it? It worked out, it really did. My concern is what if next time it doesn't? to him. I think I believed those pricks from Hansa. I believed that Moscow was controlled by the HQ. That we were under occupation. That we were still in war. That there were generals here giving orders. What an idiot, Suka! I will repeat my question. What do we do now? Could we go back to Moscow? Tell them the truth about the war. The government. They'll shoot us on approach. And even if we do break through, what can we do against Hansa? Who'd believe us with no proof? <laughs> what about going back to Volga? We could live there. What do we do about the locals? 
They weren't exactly happy to see us there. Do we kill them all? Is anybody here up for that? Back in Moscow, Artyom had been dreaming of finding a habitable place and building a colony there. Isn't it time we got to it? The idea is good. But how do we find the place? Just keep traveling? The Aurora needs an overhaul. <coughs> what do we do if it breaks down? Satellites. What satellites? You want to leave the fucking planet? There's a satellite communication center on the Caspian Sea. It survived the war. Oh. And if we gain access to the data collected by the satellites... We won't have to travel randomly. <coughs> Radiation level maps, even your regular satellite photos could really help us out here. That's an idea. What if there is something worse than cannibals there? <coughs> could well be. But first, we're going to be really careful this time. And second, does anyone have any better ideas? I don't. Well, I guess we've got ourselves a new plan. Artyom, shall we look for that <laughs> place you wanted? Huh? Sound the horn, then! <laughs> Three months on the road, three months of constant trial. But after Yamantau, we are ready for anything fate can throw at us. Mere kilometers separate us from the Caspian One communication center. Will the maps within yield a spot free from radiation where we could finally settle in peace? I don't know, but what's left for us but hope? The desert is taking its toll. The crew suffers from heat and thirst, and the Aurora is not in her top form. We're out of coal and had to switch to burning available fuel. Old cross ties and twigs. I'm not in love with this place. Nothing but sand and heat. I feel like shit here. Somehow, I don't like this welcome either. Let's go. They stopped in that village there. Looks like somebody lives there. I see. How are the men doing, Demir? Stepan is the worst off. The others are not so well either. Only us here are still in fighting shape. <sighs> Thank you. Ada, you and Demir reconnoiter the area. We need to find that damn bunker and hit the road as soon as we do. We might have a slight problem with hitting the road, Colonel. And there's barely enough water in the boiler to make some tea. And we're all out of coal. I see. We'll need to address that, too. Anna, Tamir, one more task. Look for water and fuel. We'll do. Get the men ready. We need to set up defenses. Roger that. See you soon. Just try to be careful, all right? Artyom, we have to learn who those men with the car are. They do look like regular bandits, but we can't take risks here. The car was headed for the village. Looks like they have a comms relay there, and it should hold some info, which is just what we need now. Move out as soon as you're ready. Chris, can your rail car pull the train? Our 
Potium! I've got something for you. Are you going out? Look here, then. This is something I finished just now. Well, I hollowed out a couple of Tihar bullets and filled them with explosive. Some explosive ammo right there. Well, you can do it yourself. It's quite simple. Don't forget to clean your guns regularly, with all this sand around. So, how'd you find the premises, idiot? Looks like it used to hold our ticket office and lockers. Full of garbage now. Could use some cleaning. Artyom! <coughs> Wait, I'm coming with you. I think I could use a little walk right now. Stopa, you can hardly walk. You'd better rest while it's not your shift. Well, Artyom, I really do feel kinda under the weather now. Maybe next time. You're right. Artyom and Amir are going out for a simple recon, not a fight. And what if they get attacked? Then they'll retreat back to base where you and Sam cover them. So you should rest now. Yes. You're right, Katya. Damn, the sun is having a ball today. Okay, set up the perimeter. You, get to the back of the train. Idiot, you get the engine. I'll clean the place up, then we'll bring Stepan. It's cooler than in the train. Your word is law, my liege. Shall I commence now? <laughs> Come on. Okay. I'd be off then. Alyosha's trying too hard.
stay coming here. I surrender! <laughs> No? Come out then! <laughs> so, there's probably no chance to have a chat with the owners of this car. What a shame they're so silent. Though, had I had a car like this, I wouldn't want to give it up either. <laughs> in my book, driving beats walking in this heat any day. <laughs> Which reminds me, you've got a good test drive opportunity. While you were playing in this sandbox, I found some antennas, and the communication center should have them. <laughs> I think it's at that lighthouse, so you should head there. The lighthouse is so huge, we can't miss it. I have to stay and keep tabs on the area for a while, but once I'm done, I might join you there. See ya!
everyone. The Baron is about to speak. Listen up, everyone. The Baron is speaking. Gentlemen, I received news of some traveling gang on a train invading our territory. This is unusual. Since as far as I remember, we did a pretty good job of teaching the neighbors that actions like this end up costing them. These newcomers seem slow on the uptake. Or not from the neighborhood. In any case, we should find out who they are and what they want. I have called the people that I need separately. The rest of you are to ready your cars, guns, and combat plane slaves. It might all be needed soon. As you were, everyone, the Baron has spoken. Three, four, five. <laughs> when tower had fish for a die. <laughs> hey, Artyom, found a bunker yet? Would well, be nice <laughs> to find it soon. <laughs> Hi, Artyom. Sun's going all out today, oh. huh? <laughs> Hello, Artyom. Over. Uh, so, did you try the new ammo out? Should work great with all this oil around. I figure the Holy Flame would be pretty happy with them. Uh, so, you had to fall back. <laughs> Why did you approach them in the first place? Cut it out! I forbid enemy contact. You are to act with utmost care. I repeat, your task is observation alone. Do you read me? Reports at half-hour intervals. Over and out. Don't forget Mom, to don't we have regularly. anything With to all this sand around. How are you, Alyosha? How about taking a short break in the shade? No, sir. I am on duty today. Wow. <laughs> Polishing your pronunciation is a waste of effort. You've nobody to try it on but me. What do you mean, nobody? I could certainly try it on the locals, or to be precise, the local ladies. They could be fond of tourists, huh? <laughs> You're definitely overheating. <laughs> 